A lot has changed over the years with golf clubs, and today we're going to see just exactly how much. We've got Callaway Fairway Woods from the past 15 years. Jack's going to hit some shots, and we're going to see what TrackMan tells us. Golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel and like the video for more comparisons like this. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Holder, Second Swing Golf, and I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. In the tour van today, we've got a fun comparison looking at Callaway Ferry Woods from the past 15 years or so. Um, I mean, golf clubs have changed a ton over the last couple of decades. We're going to see that today. Looking at these Ferry Woods, Jackie, first of all, a couple of them are kind of pretty beat up from our yeah. used inventory. Uh, but we've also got the newest uh, of the new from Callaway, the Epic Speed. So. A lot of range and technology and looks and performance. What do you think we're going to see here? Yeah, I think, you know, with the older model of Callaway, we're going to see, you know, definitely less ball speed than mm -hmm. the, the Epic right. Speed. Uh, Epic Speed is known to get speed. There, there, there is, I mean, that's why it's <laughs> called the Epic Speed. Yeah. It delivers Epic Speed. And, I mean, it has been, Callaway Fairywoods actually, going back to when they've implemented this artificial intelligence, which is in the Maverick, and now Epic Speed, they've really bolstered that ball speed. I mean, there's a lot of pop off the face. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the older models weren't as well known. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got, you had Ping and, and TaylorMade uh, mm -hmm. in that era where they were doing really well. And I think mm -hmm. Callaway uh, wasn't quite there yet. But now, yeah, you see in the Maverick, Maverick's really popular. The Epic's been popular. Um, so definitely more technology built into these newer fairway woods mm -hmm. that have done a lot better than what their older models were doing. So it'll be interesting to see what that difference is and just how they compare uh, to the newer models that they came out with. Yeah, I'm, I mean, there's a, some interesting looks to these, some of these fairways I'm looking at where there's, you know, the, the offset really, especially at the hosel is a little bit unique. So um, all kind of have the regular flex stock shafts here. Obviously that has changed over time and with bonded hosels on a couple of these, we can't uh, use the same shaft, but regular flex um, stock shafts. We're going to hit five woods today, right? Yep. They're all five woods. And uh, we're going to see what TrackMan says. Uh, so, I mean, there's probably a little bit of variation in loft, but overall it's going to be about feel, it's going to be about forgiveness, it's going to be about distance. And I would imagine we'll see some big differences here. Yeah. You ready to hit? Let's go. It's actually pretty good. Felt decent. Nice. It looks weird, but you know, a little chunky. That works. All right. So no. Callaway Octane five wood. Um, I, I feel like those shots were all pretty solid right there. Yeah, it was pretty good actually. It, it looks so weird. <laughs> but it's, and it's got like, a, it's got a lot of offset here. I mean, that's the first thing is like, if I line it up how I normally would, it's like literally pointing over here. Yeah. So that part, you know, that adjustment here, I just kind of like put my hands forward just a little bit. But um, yeah, it didn't feel awful. I think when I've tested other brands in, in this era, this one's probably fit, you know, up there in terms of feel. Okay in older clubs. So, so it kind of, it, maybe it feels the, like, so we've kind of done some of these tests where we go back with brands yeah. and look, does this feel like the most modern of those that are back in the 2000s time frame? Yeah, I would say it's probably right up there with Titleist yeah. in that time frame. Okay. So. Well, we got a good start here with, yeah. with Octane. Uh, next, we got the, this is a Callaway Razor Fit. This is an interesting club, and it's also used quite a bit. Yeah, it's, someone definitely found some success with this. That's true. They used it for a while. Yep. It's kind of low on the face, but not bad. That was good. Wow. Yeah. Ah. 
Wow, so this is interesting. I think the spin went way down. Yeah, it did. What did you think? So did it, how'd that feel? How'd that look? You know, what's that club like compared to the Octane? Um, I think it, it definitely felt better than the Octane. A um, little bit smaller head, not as much offset, mm -hmm. uh, which is interesting because I went more left, but also some of that is definitely my swing. But um, I'd say, yeah, it feels like hot off the face, which is very interesting compared to, you know, what I would expect. So hmm. not bad. You know, yeah, I mean, you, you gained ball speed. Yeah. And you also swung faster, but you gained ball speed. And I'll, I mean, the spin drop is what's huge to me here. So that helped you gain some more total distance on that thing. But um, yeah, that was just kind of a low launcher for you. So now we've got the Callaway XR16 model here. That was good. Yeah. I mean, I did expect this one to be really good. XR was like. That was a rocket. Right the, when there. they came out with the XR, that was like, I mean, that really turned things around for them. The XR was huge. It's another good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a miss hit, but still really good. Two, three straight, like dead straight. Yeah, this dispersion is going to be nice to look at. <laughs> so, the XR16, that is quite the dispersion circle right there. And you even said you missed one a little bit. And yeah. It still helped you out. So, good review here for the XR16. Um, seeing how that ball speed went up almost, well, over three miles an hour. You improved your club speed as well. And it was just all way more consistent overall. So,. I mean, you can see the circle over there and realize how much more consistent it was. But you gained like 15 yards of carry distance. So you were certainly launching a higher, I mean, almost 80 feet in the air. Yeah, I average. mean, this shaft felt really good compared to the other two. Mm -hmm. um, definitely lighter. So that's the first thing I noticed right away. Is just I could feel the head. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't have any complaints with this. this no. It was perfect. I mean, I, that, yeah. that is one of the smallest dispersion patterns that has ever existed on this channel for three shots. So there you go. You got that going for you. And now yeah. I mean, that, that's a pretty high bar set for now Maverick <laughs> and Epic Speed. So yes, definitely. See if they can keep up. Hmm. Is that good? I thought it was going to be better than that, but. Oh, that's feedback. Wow. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like the feel of this. I don't know. You really interesting. Yeah, I, the well, feel we of the XR was definitely a lot smoother and a lot softer. This was like. It could have been a shaft thing too with that one, but. Um, maybe I mean it's the same uh, gram weight. Um, actually it, no, I mean, actually no. The 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 speeder is lighter, but. Um, because, yeah. I mean, looking at the numbers here, it was that's interesting. Maverick was, you know, similar club speed to the Razor Fit, but ball speed, you, you lost five miles an hour from the XR16. Yeah, I don't, it definitely feels like heavier. I don't know, heavy, it means of like 60 okay. grams. I mean, it's not like super heavy, but it's still, it just feels. Interesting, because um, you also gained, well, you, it was one of the la higher launching ones, almost 70 feet in the air. Yeah. You carried at 177.5, which is the second highest, but it's still, I mean, the XR16 is blowing that out of the water right now. So, yeah. Um, at least for you, anyway, interesting to see how that came about. But, um, all right, Epic Speed will wrap up here with uh, the newest model for 2021. That's a good shot. 85 feet in the air is. Very good. Yeah, that's, that's a good one too. This one feels a lot more similar to the XR, yeah. which is not what I expected, but mm, that might be all right. Yeah, that was a miss hit, but. Okay, I'll use it. So the Epic Speed 
A little more consistent there. I know even you said you missed that last one a little bit. Um, yeah. Which probably took down that ball speed um, down to kind of below the XR16. So give me your thoughts on that one. Um, it felt pretty similar to the XR in, in feel. Um, honestly, I'm like just shocked by the Maverick of how much I just didn't like it. Yeah. And Interesting. Yeah, I, I am too. I, I mean, I did not see that coming. Uh, but I also did not see this tiny little circle coming from the XR16 well, either. So in fittings, I've seen the XR be, in, in terms of Callaway, a yeah. surprise for okay. a lot of people. Just because in used fittings, I mean, it's a, in a really good price point. And when you're talking about the Maverick and the Epic, um, you know, one thing we didn't test was the, uh, the original Epic. Yeah. So okay. from 2019, yeah. Epic Flash, well, they, they there was Epic the, Flash, and then the GBB Epic right. series too. Yep. So there was both of those. The Epic Flash we didn't do. I didn't do it because you know we have the Epic Speed here. Those are mm -hmm. pretty similar. So if I had, if I were to hit the Epic um, Flash, it would be, I, it would be pretty similar to okay. Epic Speed from what I've heard. So, um, but yeah, the XR, uh, I don't know, felt the best. Man. Yeah, I mean, no I'm going to bring this, I'm going to expand this dispersion circle. You kind of see, consistency-wise, you had the distance consistency of the Epic Speed, um, and that was with a miss hit in there. Um, so I think that's worth noting. You know, you got a lot of forgiveness there, but the XR16 was just a big winner in this one. I, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the shaft. I mean, the shaft they put in there is like, you know, when you got the speeder evolution, I mean, it's a really good yeah, shaft. And for those that have slower swing speeds, um, is really good in terms of gaining a little bit more speed in your swing and be able to launch the ball uh, a little bit higher and mm -hmm. just more consistency there. I think sometimes with what I've seen with like um, fairway woods, some of these have just, I mean, 60, 65, 70 grams in their fairway woods. And for someone like myself, that's not swinging 100 miles an hour plus, like, it's tough to, you know, get that consistency in that sure, club. So sure. I think that's the one thing, like, with, with Callaway, when, when you're seeing the XR16 with slower swing speed players, it really, like, stands out because of the shaft they put in there. Um, but I've seen really good things in terms of, like, tour van fittings with the Epic Speed. Yeah. Um, it, it's been really good, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised the Maverick, just the results. Yeah. But it so, could have been some bad swings I just put together there. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and but. again, not a huge sample size here by yeah. any means. Uh, but we've got some numbers here to just quickly look at. And we can, I mean, XR16 might run away with all of these in terms of yeah. numbers here. Club speed, ball speed, smash factor octane, actually. Look at that. And in terms of most efficient, we got some older clubs. It was just you didn't swing those fast enough and didn't just just pr didn't produce enough speed to keep up. Launch angle, epic speed was up there, as was Maverick. So the newer stuff was launching high enough. Yep. That center of gravity moved back far enough. You're going to get the height you need from the newer stuff, um, which I think is not a surprise. You see that center of gravity get moved back further and further over the last decade plus. And with that comes higher launch and comes more spin um, when you bring that back. So you can kind of see spin wise here, we've got uh, pretty different. Well, the razor fits way down here, but then you can kind of see that spin is pretty consistent across the board between Maverick, XR16, and Epic Speed. Carry distance, though, we'll see XR16 way up top with Epic Speed there too. In total, same same story. So interesting test here. I did not see this coming from XR16, and again, I'm not in here doing used club fitting, so yeah. I don't I don't have the you know the the knowledge on kind of what what used club models out there in our huge inventory are doing the best and getting the most positive feedback from golfers like you, but that was something I didn't see coming. Yeah, I mean, the XR16 is only five years old, so it's not like that, you know, it's that old, but yeah, it's definitely one of those clubs yeah. that's a... Uh, Sleeper. A go-to, yeah, go-to for someone on a budget that I'm looking to fill in those fairway woods that, you know, we're gonna be able to stay under budget and not spend $300 on a fairway wood. It's, it's a way for, to get performance, but also uh, mm -hmm. not spend top dollar. So it's a really good option uh, from, from Callaway for sure. Yeah, I know it was actually, this is another anecdote, but um, PJ Tour player Ryan Moore over this year at the 3M Open, he uh, actually misplaced his three wood and he was, came to second swing looking for an XR16. So we brought him a couple of samples, brought him to the tournament. And I'm now seeing a little bit why, of why XR16 was such a, a good 
good player. So, uh, yeah, really good test today. A lot of good feedback here and information. Golfers interested in the Callaway uh, XR, XR16 Fairy Woods. Um, Second Swing has a few options out there. So you can stop in, check out our, our store inventory, or go to secondswing.com. You can see all of our inventory across all of our locations. Jackie, thank you for hitting the shots today, giving your feedback, giving your expertise. Uh, I think golfers will take a lot from this one for sure. Yeah, thanks for having me.